Hey Cortana, launch first. Sure, starting first. Okay, so here you're looking at a spring cloud, otherwise known as a force-directed graph. It's excellent at mapping out relationships that are very complex, and uh, there's lots of interrelationships. So they become very difficult to understand uh, on a 2D surface, such as a monitor or uh, paper or whatever. You just can't map things like this uh, on 2D. And they're just indecipherable, as I posted on my Facebook. But as you can see here, if you dissect them in 3D, you can get a much better perspective on how these relationships work. So moving around it, you can see how things are, are moving and creating space for themselves so that it can splay out as best as it can to highlight the different relationships. You actually can get inside this thing and uh, you can imagine you could pin individual pieces so they stop moving. So you could pin this one over here, for example, and keep that from moving and take one over here and pull on it. And now suddenly the whole graph gets stretched and elongated between those two points. And you can imagine setting more and more of those pins to further dissect it and get at the things you're interested in. You can also run cool searches like this blue point up here you could actually see how many links away it is from this red point down at the end over here. And you could probably plot the, uh, the, the fastest route from one to the other, which would be really neat because that would be uh, uh, how it's most related from one link to the next. So you can think about this in terms of information as opposed to just space. Because what we're really dissecting here is relationships, not space. So these individual bars represent the strength of a connection. Uh, the longer the, the uh, link, the less related, they, the, 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 the weaker the connection between the, uh, down, the, down the end of the tree. But um, I don't know, I just think this is extraordinary and unfortunately you're viewing this in 2D. But if anybody's interested, I might be able to put this on the store. Um, I wouldn't charge anything for it, I just think it's it's super interesting and it illustrates how powerful 3D can be for deep data dives uh, and big data. You can imagine this being a network graph of your friends and you could actually watch this thing change in real time as one person talks to the next. The individual nodes could light up. Uh, the, the strengths can change between the, the points. Oh, you got something. All kinds of interesting things happening all over the place. And it's so organic and alive because it's using physics in a sense. Uh, and it's, it will always be untangling itself. This is one of your more complex graphs. It's got about 500 elements in it, uh, which is more friends than I have. So this isn't my friend data. I won't tell you what data this is associated with, but it's uh, pretty damn interesting. And you can imagine adding and removing things in real time and, and that would change the, the whole layout. It was just fascinating stuff. Just fascinating. And I will add that this is my first HoloLens app since I worked on uh, the HoloLens NFL uh, program that you may have seen uh, coming out of Microsoft. I was one of the designers on that and I did some of the early prototyping for it. But this, this is where my interests lie. Not much of a sportsman. I like data. I like science. And that's what the HoloLens is for. Amazing things like this. I don't know. It's amazing to me. I hope it's amazing to you. Let me know in the comments and subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff like this. You're not going to be getting silly little jumping animals from me. This is what you're going to be getting. Amazing stuff. Ah, it's beautiful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, Cortana. Stop recording.